Similar to cobblestone, dry stack should be installed with level lines marked into the scratch coat. As the style name implies, this is a dry laid stone, meaning that the stones are stacked on top of each other and no mortar joint is applied between stones. The installer should start by taking a grout bag and applying a mortar bead along all trim boards and window door frames in the area he'll be working. This will allow for a good joint to be created between the stone and other material. Dry stack stone should be prepared for installation similar to cobblestone with all edges trimmed to allow for a tight fit between stones. Stone should be bedded into the scratch coat with firm pressure and moved back and forth to adhere the stone and butt the edges to the adjacent and underlying stone for a tight fit. As with cobblestone, the installer should break all vertical and horizontal joints in the pattern so as not to have one continuous line. After stone installation has progressed, the mason should fill a grout bag with mortar and go over the install to fill any voids or areas between the stones. This is important so that the scratch coat is not visible through the stonework when completed. After the mortar has set, the filled area should be slicked or cut back and the entire stonework brushed to remove remaining mortar. First, a whole panel is installed on the wall using the same techniques previously discussed and displayed in the video. Next, a panel is cut in half lengthwise to create two identical pieces that are six inches in height. One piece is installed on the wall and butted against the whole panel as shown in the video. Next, the mason measures the distance from the end of the whole panel to the termination wall. He then calculates whether a whole panel would fit in the space remaining. In this case, he determines that another complete panel will fit and cuts a small panel piece to fit between the next whole panel and the wall termination. Prior to installing the whole panel, the mason runs a grout bead along the top edge of the underlying stone panels. This will create a good joint between the stones so that there is not any space between adjacent panels. This pattern for installation is continued throughout so as to break the horizontal seams between the stone panels. After the mortar has set for the panels, the grout between the panels should be cut back and brushed to create a unified look to the project. <laughs> 